Hello, Derek. I'm here. Oh, hi. How are you, Derek? I'm well. How's everything with you? It's just so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's nice meeting you too. Wait, Ian? Hello, guys. We're back. Hello. What we'll do is we'll introduce the dog in question, which is Dumpling. And uh, we have a pretty fun topic today. Uh, we've been looking recently at movies, like I mentioned, um, and one of them was Her, 2013, Spike Jones, and filmed by Hoite van Hoitema. If you haven't seen Her yet, it's basically a movie about a guy who falls in love with ScarJo's voice. While I was studying the cinematography of the movie, I came across a statement which claimed that the movie's visual identity was influenced by the Japanese photographer Rinko Kauchi, which made immediate sense, although it was kind of surprising. Her, in many ways, doesn't really feel like a typical Hollywood film. As a slow cadence to the pacing, a minimalism to the framing, and a muted precision to the art direction, it's not exactly Japanese, but it does feel Japanese. If you look at Rinko Kaoichi's work now, you might think that's wholly unremarkable, and I think it would be fair to say that. The beauty, if you will, of her work is how plain it is, and how it shows her personality, her mind. Her camera work is in some ways dreamy and non-existent. It's arguably even amateur, but that also kind of enhances the subject matter. One could argue that if everyone had a camera back then, as they do now, her work would not be famous, because her work was the anti-master, the embrace of the ordinary, the showcasing of not war or celebrities or fashion, but of a simple life of household items. So in the spirit of Kauchi, the idea of this video was that we would go around and shoot everyday beauty, things that inspired us. Somehow or another, uh, mainly related to light leaks according to an adapter that I used, um, none of the pictures that we shot came out. So that, but, but that means nothing which came, nothing came out. Does that mean I didn't take any shots? I think so. So nonetheless, I hope that um, this video will still kind of inspire you to shoot some uh, everyday beauty of your own. And uh, even though we have no photos to show, hopefully the video is kind of fun as well. Anyways, this is like malt, soy milk. It comes in warm glass bottles every winter. I have some weird nostalgic attachment to it. This is my childhood drink. This comes out every day. Every day, every day, all day. Cat camera nerds are like checking out, well, like instead of checking out girls, you're like checking out, like, damn. That's a nice lens. Yeah. So I, was, I just saw this like, little schoolboy. Is this, he's not a schoolboy. I think a, he's older than us, but he looks because he was wearing a like a Lakers onesie. I thought he was a schoolboy, yeah. and, I was, and I was looking at schoolboy and like, oh, I want to shoot that purple outfit. And all of a sudden he pulls up this Leica. I'm like, fuck. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of pocket money. <laughs> Dumpling really likes that garbage man. They always say hi. They've known each other for two years, and every time Dumpling sees him, they're all over each other. <laughs> so then what I'm um, on the lookout for are like random things in people's cars. Uh, I don't know, people leave funny things in cars. There was a, in that Tesla earlier on, there was like a single flower. So I was like, I should have gone back and shot it. But, um, I don't know, who's it for? Is it for me? Um, you've been walking around here now for 30 minutes, 20 yep. minutes. Um, our, uh, Dumpling is bored as hell with us and our, <laughs> our assignment. Um, is there any difficulty to shooting everyday beauty in, in the... I, I actually find it very difficult just because I'm here every day. And, but it's also interesting because I've never walked through these streets this slowly ever. So it's good to slow it down, you know, take a breath and kind of find different things. Mm. Since there were no photos from the shoot with Derek, I found some old film photos from the early 2000s that follow Kawuchi's philosophy of everyday beauty. Everyday beauty is essentially a study of natural light. The shifting of the sun and the shadows is what breathes a new perspective into things that we see every day. With COVID somehow still keeping the majority of the world stuck in our neighborhoods, it's not a bad time to take that step back and study that light, to find the perfect conditions that change the ordinary into extraordinary and give a sense of everyday beauty.